Welcome to the Brain Booster Podcast channel. Today, we'll be discussing the fascinating country of Cameroon. Known for its diverse culture and stunning landscapes, Cameroon is a country worth exploring. With Yaoundé as its capital city, we'll delve into the history, culture, economy, tourism, and society of Cameroon. So, stay tuned and join us on a journey of discovery as we explore this vibrant and dynamic country. Thank you for listening, and we hope you'll stay with us until the end of the podcast. Cameroon is located in Central Africa, bordered by Nigeria to the west, Chad to the northeast, the Central African Republic to the east, and Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, and the Republic of the Congo to the south. The country also has a small coastline along the Gulf of Guinea in the Atlantic Ocean. Cameroon's geography is diverse and includes mountainous regions, rainforests, savannas, and coastal lowlands. The country's highest point is Mount Cameroon, an active volcano that stands at 4,040 meters. The country's major rivers include the Sanaga, Wuri, and Bainway, which provide important transportation corridors and are also a source of hydroelectric power. Cameroon's climate is also diverse, ranging from tropical along the coast to semi-arid and desert in the north. Cameroon has a rich and complex history, which has been shaped by a variety of different influences over the centuries. The earliest inhabitants of the region were the Bantu people, who migrated to the area around 2,000 years ago. In the 15th century, the Portuguese arrived in Cameroon and established trade links with the local tribes. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that European colonization of Cameroon began in earnest, with the Germans establishing a protectorate over the region in 1884. After the First World War, the League of Nations mandated the territory to be split between France and the United Kingdom. The French established control over the majority of Cameroon, while the British controlled a small strip of land in the north. The French and British mandates were subsequently mandated to UN Trust territories after Second World War. Cameroon gained independence from France in 1960 and from the United Kingdom in 1961. Since independence, the country has been led by a series of different leaders, with some periods of stability and prosperity, and others marked by political turmoil and economic instability. The country has undergone several constitutional changes and experienced political tensions between the Anglophone and Francophone regions, which led to the ongoing Anglophone crisis. Overall, the history of Cameroon is marked by a complex mix of influences and developments that have shaped the country into what it is today. Cameroon is a country with a rich and diverse cultural heritage that is shaped by a variety of different influences. From traditional festivals and customs, to languages and religious beliefs, the country is a melting pot of different ethnic groups, each with their own unique cultural practices and traditions. Understanding and appreciating these cultural traditions is important for gaining a deeper understanding of the country and its people. In this segment, we will explore some of the traditional customs and practices, languages, and religious beliefs that make up the cultural heritage of Cameroon. From the vibrant festivals and music, to the diversity of languages spoken, we will delve into what makes Cameroon's culture so rich and unique. Cameroon is home to over 250 ethnic groups, each with their own unique customs and traditions. One of the most prominent cultural practices in Cameroon is the celebration of traditional festivals. These festivals, which are often religious in nature, are an important part of the country's cultural calendar and are celebrated by many different ethnic groups. For example, the Mbum Dance Festival is celebrated by the Mbum people, in which they perform dances, music, and rituals to honor their ancestors. The Baffet Mask Festival is celebrated by the Baffet people, where they wear masks and perform dances to honor the spirits of their ancestors. The Fons Palace Festival is celebrated by the Bamaun people, where they perform traditional dances, music, and rituals to honor their kings. Cameroon also has a rich musical tradition that incorporates a variety of different instruments and styles. The traditional music of Cameroon is characterized by the use of drums, xylophones, and other percussion instruments. 
The country is also known for its makasa music, which is a popular genre that combines elements of funk, soul, and traditional Cameroonian rhythms. Cameroon's art is also rich and varied, with different ethnic groups creating their own unique styles. The Bamalik people are known for their intricate beadwork and sculpture, while the Bamaun people are known for their metalworking and bronze casting. Cameroon is a multilingual country with a diverse linguistic heritage. The official languages are French and English, which were inherited from the colonial powers that once controlled the territory. French is widely used in government, education, and official communications, while English is mostly spoken in the northwest and southwest regions. However, the country is also home to over 250 local languages, which are spoken by different ethnic groups. Some of the most widely spoken local languages include Douala, Iwando, and Fulfulda. These languages are important for maintaining cultural identity and for facilitating communication within communities. The linguistic diversity of Cameroon reflects the country's rich cultural heritage and its history of different groups coming together to form a unified nation. This linguistic diversity also plays an important role in the cultural, social and economic life of the country. Overall, Cameroon's linguistic diversity is a unique aspect of its cultural heritage and it plays an important role in the country's social and economic life. It is an integral part of the Cameroonian identity, reflecting the country's rich cultural heritage and its history of different groups coming together to form a unified nation. At the same time with the colonies, different cultures and the multinational population, Cameroon acquired a variety of religions with Christianity and Islam being the two most widely practiced religions in the country. Christianity, which was introduced by the Europeans during colonization, is the dominant religion in Cameroon. The majority of Christians in Cameroon are Catholic and Protestant. Christianity has had a significant impact on the country's culture and society, influencing many aspects of daily life. Islam, which arrived in Cameroon through trade and migration, is also widely practiced in the country. The majority of Muslims in Cameroon are Sunni, and they are concentrated in the northern and far north regions of the country. The Islamic culture in Cameroon has its own traditional practices such as Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr. In addition to Christianity and Islam, many Cameroonians also practice traditional religious beliefs. These traditional religious practices often include the worship of ancestors and a belief in the power of the natural world. They are an important aspect of the country's cultural heritage and are deeply ingrained in the daily lives of many Cameroonians. In addition to religious diversity, Cameroon attracts attention with its diversity in tourism, from its stunning natural landscapes to its rich cultural heritage. Known for its ecotourism opportunities, adventure activities, traditional festivals, museums, and historical sites, Cameroon offers a wide variety of experiences for visitors. Despite being often overshadowed by its more popular neighbors, Cameroon has a lot to offer to those who are willing to explore. From the lush rainforests and rugged mountains to the beautiful beaches and traditional villages, Cameroon is a destination that is sure to impress. Join us as we discover some of the top tourist destinations and activities that this hidden gem of a country has to offer. Cameroon is home to a diverse range of natural attractions that offer visitors a chance to experience the country's stunning landscapes and biodiversity. One of the main natural attractions in Cameroon is its national parks. These parks are home to a wide variety of wildlife, including elephants, lions, gorillas, and chimpanzees, as well as a large number of bird species. These national parks offer excellent opportunities for ecotourism and wildlife safaris. Cameroon also boasts beautiful beaches along its coastline on the Gulf of Guinea. Some of the popular beaches include Limba, Kribi and Tycho. These beaches offer a chance to relax and enjoy the sun, sea and sand, as well as water sports such as swimming, snorkeling, and diving. The country also boasts several mountain ranges, including the Cameroon Mountain Range, which is the highest point in West Africa and also an active volcano. It's a popular spot for hiking and climbing, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding landscapes. 
The mountain range is also home to several endemic species of plants and animals. Cameroon is a country with a rich cultural heritage, and there are many cultural attractions that visitors can explore. One of the most popular cultural attractions in Cameroon is traditional festivals. These festivals, which are often religious in nature, are an important part of the country's cultural calendar and are celebrated by many different ethnic groups. Some examples include the Mbum Dance Festival, the Baffet Mask Festival, and the Fons Palace Festival. These festivals offer visitors a chance to experience the country's traditional customs, music, and dance, as well as to learn more about the country's history and culture. Cameroon also has several museums and historical sites that visitors can explore. Some of the popular museums include the Douala Museum of Arts and the Bamoun Museum, which showcase the country's artistic and cultural heritage. The historical sites include the Baffet Palace, the Limba Botanical Garden, and the Kribi Beach, which offer visitors a chance to learn more about the country's history and cultural heritage. Cameroon is a destination that offers a wide range of adventure tourism activities. One of the most popular activities is hiking and climbing. The country boasts several mountain ranges. The mountain range offers a variety of hiking and climbing trails that are suitable for visitors of all skill levels. Hiking to the top of the mountain allows visitors to experience the stunning views of the surrounding landscapes and also to explore the endemic flora and fauna of the mountain. Another popular adventure tourism activity in Cameroon is wildlife safaris. National parks are home to a wide variety of wildlife, including elephants, lions, gorillas, and chimpanzees, as well as a large number of bird species. Visitors can take guided safaris to explore the wildlife, and also to learn more about conservation efforts in the country. Cameroon also has a variety of other adventure tourism activities, such as diving and snorkeling in its beaches, as well as kayaking and boat tours to explore the mangroves and creeks in the coastal area. Cameroon's economy is very much tied to nature. The main industries in the country include oil and gas, timber, agriculture, and mining. The oil and gas sector is the largest contributor to the country's economy, accounting for about 40% of its GDP and 80% of its export revenue. Agriculture is also an important sector, representing around 21% of the GDP and providing employment for around 70% of the population. Timber and mining are also significant contributors to the economy, with the country having rich deposits of minerals such as bauxite, cobalt, and diamonds. However, the Cameroonian economy also faces several challenges. The country is heavily dependent on the global commodity markets, which can be volatile and subject to fluctuations. In addition, the country has been facing a lack of infrastructure, which makes it difficult to transport goods and services. The government has been implementing several measures to address these challenges, such as investing in infrastructure and promoting economic diversification. There is potential for growth in Cameroon's economy, particularly in sectors such as tourism, agriculture, and manufacturing. The country has a diverse range of natural and cultural attractions, which have the potential to attract more visitors and boost the economy. The government has also been encouraging the development of small and medium-sized enterprises in the manufacturing sector, which could help to create more jobs and diversify the economy. Cameroon, like many other African countries, faces a number of social issues, such as poverty, education, and healthcare. Despite some economic growth, poverty remains a major problem in the country. Many people, particularly in rural areas, live on very low incomes and struggle to meet their basic needs. Education is also a significant issue in Cameroon, with a large proportion of the population being illiterate and a high dropout rate in schools. Additionally, the healthcare system in Cameroon is underfunded and understaffed, making it difficult for many people to access quality medical care. These social issues are complex and multifaceted, and addressing them will require a combination of government policies, international aid, and community-based initiatives. In terms of poverty, Cameroon's government has implemented a number of programs and policies aimed at reducing poverty and promoting economic growth. 
However, these efforts have not always been successful, and poverty remains a major issue in the country. Education is also a major concern in Cameroon. The government has made efforts to increase access to education and improve the quality of education, but many children still do not have access to schools or drop out early. Furthermore, the healthcare system in Cameroon is underfunded and understaffed, which makes it difficult for many people to access quality medical care. The government is taking steps to improve the healthcare system by investing in infrastructure, training more medical professionals, and providing basic health services to remote areas. However, it will take time for the healthcare system to see significant improvements. In addition to poverty, education, and healthcare, there are other social issues facing Cameroon as well. One of the major issues is corruption, which can be found in various sectors, including government, business, and the legal system. This makes it difficult for the country to attract foreign investment and create economic growth. Another important issue is the political situation, with ongoing tensions between the government and opposition groups, as well as ongoing violence in the Anglophone regions. This also affects the economic and social stability in the country. In summary, while Cameroon has a rich culture and diverse natural resources, it also faces many social issues that need to be addressed in order to improve the lives of its citizens and promote economic growth. Throughout this podcast, we have explored the diverse cultural heritage, natural attractions, adventure tourism, and economic and social issues of Cameroon. From the religious landscapes and traditional customs, to the national parks and beaches, the country offers a wide range of experiences for visitors. We also highlighted the challenges facing the Cameroonian economy and society, such as poverty, education, and healthcare. We hope that this podcast has given you a glimpse into the rich culture and history of Cameroon, as well as an understanding of the country's current economic and social issues. We encourage you to consider visiting Cameroon and experiencing the country's natural beauty and cultural heritage for yourself. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We appreciate your support and hope that you have enjoyed learning about Cameroon. If you are interested in learning more about other countries and cultures, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other podcasts.